Hello Virgo. Although when I pray and prepare, I do ask that all of you receive at least one message. This is a reading for a large general audience. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them. We are gonna be pulling three from Sandra Ann Taylor's Energy Oracle deck. We're gonna get two from Doreen Virtue's Magical Mermaid's deck. And you guys get the bottom card. We'll see what that is here in a little bit. And we're going to get one from Doreen Virtues. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First card we have is Indecision. And if you can see that, you'll see a cloaked figure that's like stuck in the fork of a road, not sure which direction to go. I'm getting that for a number of you, you're stuck between two choices. I get for some of you, you're stuck deciding to move. You're trying to decide whether you're going to move into a new home, move to another area. For some of you, I get that it's romantic related, not necessarily a, 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 a triangle, not necessarily a love triangle, but I get more so trying to decide whether you're wanting to move into a relationship or continue down a path of being single. For a couple of you, I do get that it would be trying to decide between two people. And then for some of you, I do get that you're trying to decide between two career paths. Um, almost almost a decision of do I, do I stay in my current position or do I venture out and start my own business? Or do I stay in the, the current position I've been in for years or do I venture out to a completely different career field, something that I have never done before? But I do get that you're just, you're stuck in the fork of the road. You're just not really sure which direction to go. You're really confused between the two options. And from your position, you, you lack the clarity to decide. So when you're looking at it, I get that, that it appears that both paths are the same because it, it's a very emotionally turbulent decision and it's been very confusing. And I get for a number of you, you've actually spent months trying to make this decision and they're wanting they're encouraging you to to make that decision because I, I do get for a number of you you've been stuck for quite a while trying to make this decision of which road to go down and it's like um you're you're, you're stuck in a place of paralysis it's, it's just truly you're just i'm getting almost like you know stubbornly stuck not making a decision um, because I do get a number of you you have done the analysis I get for some of you you've you've really actually overthought the decision and y you know which choice you want to make you, you're just not making the choice and you're not proceeding forward so what they're encouraging you to do is to let it go and you know because I do get a number of you you've done like an over analysis of everything so you've already decided which path to go down let things go let go of the indecision, let go of the over the over analyzing, let go of the self doubt because I get for some of you when it comes to the career and for some of you going into a new romantic relationship, I get that you have a lot of self doubt, a lack of confidence, insecurity. They're saying you're confident, you're capable, this is what you're meant to do, this is your path. Just follow it, honor your heart, make that decision and proceed forward because great abundance and blessings await you down the path. You just need to take that step, make that decision, and proceed forward. Which lines up perfectly. The next card we have is Blossoming Abundance. And when you look at this, you'll see beautiful springtime by the water, a lot of blooming flowers, and you've got birds, and looks like little baby moons. You've got butterflies in here. So I get for a number of you, the decision about a career is actually going to lead to a, a tremendous financial abundance. I get for some of you though, you, you've had some financial concerns lately, worries about being able to meet your mortgage, worries about being able to pay your bills. And I'm getting at that worry that coming from a place of lack and a place of concern and worry has caused you even further financial lack where it has been a struggle to pay your bills and, um, and, and I get a sense that a number of you have just been overwhelmed by the debt. That you came, that an unexpected expenditure came up. Something, something very large, be it you needed a new transmission on your car, you needed a new furnace in the house. I, I get that it was a very large, expensive need, repair, and, and it was urgent and it had to be covered and taken care of. Um, for some of you, even health health issue that came up, um, so health bills that came up, totally unexpected, came out of nowhere. Your finances have been constrained since then, and, and I do get that there's been a lot of worry 
and they want you to release that and know that the finances, that financial abundance, it is coming your way. It is um, blossoming all around you at this time. It's just going to take a change in your mindset out of worrying and fearing that you're not going to have the money to pay and cover your bills to a place of knowing that you're being financially taken care of. Because it's kind of like, you know, you sow your own seeds, kind of like a gardener sowing their seeds in their garden. You are sowing your own seeds when it comes to your wealth, your finances, your prosperity. And they're asking you to, to trust, know that your prayers have been heard, expect your needs to be taken care of in unexpected, dramatic ways, positive ways. Allow yourself to be open to the blessing of finances that are coming in. Allow those fruits of your labor, that trust, that faith, that knowing that your needs will be met and they will be. So smell the flowers, sit back, relax, be grateful and, and don't worry. Let the worry go. And you'll see that all your needs are gonna be met and taken care of. Last card we have here is 38, fourth chakra. Now that is your heart chakra. So I'm getting for a number of you, you are going through the completion of some heart healing at this time. For some of you, it's related to your self-confidence about moving forward in a career, moving forward and starting your own business. For some of you, it's it's moving forward in love because I, I get that you've, you've been doing a tremendous amount of healing. There's been a lot of emotion tied to it, worry, concern. But I do get that, that you, this is a culmination you're coming to the completion of the healing of your heart. And for those of you that this is romance related, I, I get that, you know, this is indicated, this is indicating some much needed heart healing that you needed to have take place after having a broken heart, after going through a, a, a bad, uh, bad marriage, bad relationship, and you're healing from that. And you're, and you're about, you've nearly completed the healing. So they're encouraging you to, you know, have faith, know that you're almost done with that and, and be compassionate toward yourself because I get a number of you are just, you're, you're beating yourself up. Your self-talk is, is not coming from a place of love, not coming from a place of compassion, kindness, understanding. Be kind to yourself, to be loving toward yourself, to be compassionate, gentle, because you, you're just, you're finishing some much needed heart healing so that you can make that decision and go down the path that's going to bring you tremendous abundance and not just financial, but all areas of life. So be open to that growth, be open to that healing and, and know that you are nearly finished with it. Because I, I get a number of you that's tied to the indecision. For some of you, you know, the healing your heart so that you can open yourself up to, yes, moving down the path of a, a new romantic relationship, a new partnership that will be very rewarding. That will be a gift, a gift from God. But you need to first be compassionate with yourself and loving with yourself. And apologies for my five month old puppy who just saw someone walk by outside. So she likes to be hurt sometimes. Next card we have is self-employment. If you can read the bottom of that. It says, you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So, you know how early on they were talking about, you know, a new business opportunity. I do get that a number of you have been considering venturing down a new path, starting your own business. And they're encouraging you to do that, to have faith in yourself because you do have the drive, you've got the desire, you've got the discipline, the skill set, you have everything needed all the ingredients to have a successful business and they're encouraging you to do that. Be enthusiastic about it. Know that you're fully supported and, and, and do, the, do the work now to finally bring that to fruition. Everything from you know praying, meditating, visualizing, positive affirmations, knowing that it's going to happen. Also taking care of yourself because oftentimes when you start your own business, um, you're overwhelmed and, and you'll forget to take care of yourself and your health and your wellness. Don't forget to care for you during this process. And, and those, those multiple layers that go into building a successful business, they, they will bear fruit for you. Because I get a lot of you have been getting that nudge, that kind of push to start your own business, to venture out on your own. This is confirmation for you that what you're getting is correct. It's time to move forward, move into your new beginning. Next card we have is a new dawn. And if you can read the bottom of that, 
The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So this is, I mean, this is great news. So for those of you that are, you know, have been contemplating for a while, do I start my own business? Do I not? Yes, start your own business. It will be very abundant. It will be very successful. For those of you contemplating, do I open myself up to love? Do I, do I go down that path again? Because I've been hurt so much before in the past. Is this person going to hurt me again or not? Do I continue to stay in my lonely shell? Or do I open up to all that love has to offer? They're letting you know this. It's your new beginning. Open up to love. It will be a true blessing. Abundance will unfold for you. And for those of you with um, the, the financial worries, you know, we were talking about the, the expenditures that came up that were unexpected. That's all behind you now. So they want you to know to stop worrying. They're taking care of you financially. Trust, have faith, know that you've got the, the rough seas are behind you. Everything from here on forward is going to be clear. So expect the best, remove any negativity, any self doubt, any worries. Just let go of anything and everything that's weighing you down and holding you back because that negativity is what is what blocks you from love. Negativity is what blocks you from financial abundance. It blocks you from all those things that you desire. So just let all that go because you, you are on the cusp of a new beginning. A new dawn awaits you. And let's see there. See, there's an affirmation in the guidebook. Let me... Okay, yes, there is an affirmation in here that you can say. So the affirmation is... I now release the need to experience this life lesson. I extract whatever teachings I need to discover, and I move on to a life of harmonious and peaceful actions. So you're turning the corner. Positive things of abundance, love, joy are right around the corner. So stay positive, move forward with no doubt, no worries, no reservations, because blessings are awaiting you. And they want me to go ahead and flip over this card. So they told me when I was pulling out the cards to grab the card on the bottom of the mermaid's deck. Now let's see what that is. Treasure chest. If you read the bottom of it, it says an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. And, and this is again, reconfirming that, that your needs are taken care of. Those of you that have had the financial struggles, that's taken care of for you. They're providing that assistance. They've heard your prayers. They are going to come and assist you in un unexpected ways. You just need to open yourself up for that. Come from a place of gratitude, trust, and know that your prayers are being answered. And those financial worries are behind you. Those, those emotional worries are behind you. The concerns about moving forward in your own company business are behind you. You are 100% supported and treasures are unfolding for you. You just need to be open to it. Allie, Allie, apologies. My next door neighbor is playing with a remote car. Hopefully she'll stop so we don't have to edit it. Okay, let's push through and get this done. <laughs> Last card, your home is protected by angels. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door ensuring it's security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. So again, this is tying back to the financial worries and concerns that, you, that those are behind you. Um, you no longer need to worry about money. You no longer need to worry about paying your bills. They've heard your prayers. They're bringing you the financial abundance. It's time to calm down and relax. Have peace. You don't need to worry about that anymore. Because I do get a number of you have just been really overwhelmed with financial concerns. And I get some of you have struggled so bad, it, it, you've even struggled to buy food, to keep food on the table. But they want you to know that they're taking care of that for you. So don't block yourself anymore. Don't, um, don't let yourself get into that place of, of worry and doubt and fearing, not being able to pay your bills, not being able to pay your mortgage, pay your rent, pay for food. Let that go. You are being provided for. You are being cared for by heaven. So just know and trust that all is well. Your finances, your security, your home, it's all protected and watched over from above. So just know your prayers have been heard. They have been answered. You are being provided for. And for some of you, this is a little bit of a deeper meaning. So for some of you, they're saying, those of you that, you know, are, are finishing the healing of your heart, have been unsure, do I open myself up to love again or not? Am, am I going to be hurt again or not? They're saying home is where the heart is. So they're wanting you to also know 
that they're preparing a home for you. They're preparing, you know, that foundation, that family, that love, that partner, that person who's your home. They've been preparing that and they've heard your, they're your prayers, which is why they've been helping you heal your heart so that you're ready to go down that path to that person, to that partner, to that relationship that truly is your home, that is blessed in your, your new beginning where uh, much much abundance, much love awaits you. And then for those of you, they, they just said also for those of you, this again ties back to the you know, self-employment, to not worry about starting your own business. Your needs will be met. You need not worry. Your needs will be met. They are going to take care of you. So this is some pretty exciting news. Um, I love any feedback that you have, so feel free to share any comments, feedback below, filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.